All right, guys, what is up? It is Josh back with another video. Today's video, I am going to be getting back to tutorials. I'm going to be showing you how you can edit a Fortnite montage for 100% free with zero plugins whatsoever inside of DaVinci Resolve. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you guys want to follow along with the video, all the links to the presets will be down below in the description of the Google Drive folder. Make sure to drop a sub. I hope you guys do enjoy, and I will see you guys on my PC. All right, so once you have DaVinci Resolve open, you can just download it for 100% free. It's in the description if you want to check that out. Go to new project. We're going to name it whatever. I'm just going to give it a random name, create. From there, all we got to do is we're going to go to edit, file, project settings. Make sure you, we change our frame rate to 60 FPS. And then we press save. From there, you're just going to find any sort of clips. So for me, I'm literally just going to drag in like two random clips. I don't even know if they're good, but they're just clips from my old highlights or my recent highlights video, I should say. If you guys want to check that out, make sure to go check out that video. Um, and then we're gonna drag in this uh, song 637 Godwin whoa really like it used it for an old highlights a while ago But all we got to do is just find the main beats of the song So I'll see you guys once I've done that all right So I just marked out two beats on the song right here All we got to do is bring this down an audio track and we are just going to kind of select the area of the clip that we want to use So I'm gonna do before the kill after the kill and then we're gonna drag it in right here and then I'm going to line up the shotgun pellets, the first frame that we got the shotgun pellets on the marker. So it's gonna be one frame after, so it's gonna be this one right here. And then we're gonna trim it down in the end, trim it out on this side. Then we're right click it, unlink it, go to retime controls, add a speed point on the kill, and then change this to 50%, just add a nice little slow-mo. The velocity isn't anything insane, but it is something basic. If you guys don't know how to do full velocity inside of DaVinci. From there, we're just gonna select the other clip and we're gonna find the part where we actually get a kill. We'll trim it down on the right side, trim it down a bit on the left side, drag it in, and then we gotta line up the kill again, just like that. And that should be good on link three time controls add a speed point right here 50% on this Look at that all right so all we got to do from there guys is we're just going to drag over an adjustment clip that can be found on the left side under uh, effects library go inside of it once we've actually added it on and this is where it comes to actual effects so the first effect I'm going to show you is camera shake and I'm gonna be showing a two different ones i'm going to do a y shake as well as a tilt shake so for a y shake obviously we need y deviation and then we got to turn rotation deviation x deviation down to the minimum and just make sure our edge is on mirror that way it's kind of um if it makes sense like bordered just so we don't have any black bars and we're going to change the speed to something like 1.2 we'll try that out and honestly, if we keyframe the the uh, Y deviation, sorry. So if we keyframe the overall strength right here and we go 10 frames or 15 frames later, drag it down to zero. That's not even a bad Y shake. So just copy down these settings and then 10 or 15 frames later, we're just gonna keyframe the overall strength down to zero. And that's gonna be our Y shake. From there, we can just copy paste this camera shake remove the keyframes, and then we'll alter the settings here. So Y deviation, go to the minimum. Rotation deviation can be 0.5, and then our speed can be 0.09. That should honestly be good. And then at the beginning, keyframe the strength to one, and then at the very end, we can change it to like 0.1. And that. That's like a really good like Eon type of Y shake. And it looks super clean and if we want to we can just drag that over to this kill right here so it lines up perfectly and then we'll drag that right there so then we got it on our second kill too and that is that from there we can add stuff as such as glow and flicker so i'm just going to add a glow like this and the cool thing about this is we can change the glow size to make it more defined less defined um, and then we can get rid of these uh, channels to make it green red blue that kind of stuff or you can go to the color scale, mess around with that kind of stuff there. So that's the glow option. And then there is flicker edition, which is like a flicker. And you can change the range, which changes like the color and stuff. And then the speed is how fast it actually does that. But yeah, that's pretty much that. And then lastly, I'll teach you how to do a screen pump. So you actually just add transform. At the very beginning, you can change the size to like, I don't know, like let's say 1.15. Or let's do 1.2 so it's more intense 
and then at the very end change it to one. So it's just like, and that's pretty much that. But the, yeah, that's how you add effects. And then for transitions inside of DaVinci Resolve, there's a lot of options such as cross dissolve that you can just directly drag on like this, cross dissolve there. Um, additive dissolve is a great option as well. And it's super cool. Non-additive dissolve as well is really good. Um, so yeah, that is an option and it is super, super clean. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. This is more of an effects based tutorial just because uh, no plugins are required. Obviously you'd render it out after. If you want to watch my uh, full in-depth guide of how to make a montage in DaVinci Resolve, I'll have a couple linked in the description. Or if you're an After Effects kind of person, I'll have that in the description as well as a Premiere Pro, possibly. But I hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in a future upload on the channel and I will see you guys later. Peace out.